What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Planet Base where we are continuing to load and unload random objects so that I can be wealthier. I always want to have a fat stack of cash. That's all that I care about right now and then also I wanted to build a monument to me. So let's go ahead and do that. Monument to me! That's a signpost, that is. No! My stockpile! Oh, you guys are dicks. Random stellar interactions, or I don't even know what you would call that. Goddamn bolides. There we go, that works. That'll do it. <laughs> Hooray, we fixed our storeroom. And we cleared out a bunch of that pesky starch. So we're down to like 100 starch now, which is, oh my god. That storeroom makes me so much more happy right now. It's weird that there aren't any shops inside of storerooms. I don't know. I always felt like it was a multi-purpose thing. You store things there, but then you could also line the edges with bodegas. Pick up a yoohoo when you're on your way through town. Huh? How sick would that be? Who doesn't want a yoohoo every now and again? Speaking of which, it is really hard to find yoohoos. Like, I have looked everywhere for a yoohoo. They used to be, I want the glass bottle yoohoo. Like, if you don't know what a yoohoo is, it's just bottled chocolate milk. That's all that it is. It's like bottled chocolate milk in a glass bottle, but it was delicious. When I was a kid, if you had a yoohoo, your day was amazing and life was good. And I haven't had a yoohoo in like 20 years, so I can only assume that life is not good by that extrapolation. I would like you to give me all of your things. And your $2. There we go. And I will load you on up. I don't know if maybe... It'd be kind of cool if you developed a rapport with traders. Like you had like faction rep and whatnot. And traders, or at least with individuals that fly these trade ships. And as time went along, you could develop relationships and you could summon the ones that you want through like the radio console. You'd be like... Come forth, wheat vendor, for I desire all of your delicious grains. The grain stock has failed. My lord has commanded that I contact you upon the magical space phone. I give the proper propitiations and hope that you will bring forth to me the space wheat so that I can also make more beer. I don't like heffy wisens that much, though. I've only had a couple of good heffies. I've had a couple of good heffies, but most of the time, not my favorite beer. Then again, I'm low class and easy to please. I drink malt liquor. Almost exclusively, actually. Which really was kind of a problem for me. I went to college, like, in a really, really rich area. And what I found is you can tell how rich the area you live in is by what they have at 7-Elevens. Our 7-Eleven had a wood-floored, like, wine section. Where they had, like, wooden lacquered floors and, like, candles and shit. And they had a guy playing a violin that was like, Amore! Like, when you came in trying to convince you to, like, it was crazy. Whereas, like, where I live now, you go to the liquor store, and it's, like, malt liquor stacked to the ceiling. And I'm like, yeah, buddy. Back to what I'm familiar with. Back to what I'm familiar with. I like Mickey's and Colt 45 and King Cobra. Old English. Is that a malt liquor? I think it is. Pretty sure. I don't know. It's mostly Mickey's and King Cobra and Colt 45 that I tend to drink. I do occasionally drink Steel Reserve as well, but... Steel Reserve doesn't happen that often, because Steel Reserve, I feel like if you're in for Steel Reserve, you're definitely, like, plowing to get drunk at that point. You're like, well, I am drinking for the express purpose of getting just, like, destroyed. And so, if I'm going to start the evening off like that, we might as well just go with hard liquor and get there faster. We got, ooh, he's got a solar panel. I need carrier bots. That's what I want. Yeah, carrier bots, come forth. You are now my minions. Carrier bots are super clutch, and I like hanging out with them. Yay, carrier bots. Yay, money. Also, hooray for money. That makes me really, really happy that we can just, like, instantly trade for the things that we need to have whenever we need them. Colony ships definitely seem like they've taken a nerf. We have not had many colony ships in the last couple of episodes, and it's actually been a cause for some concern for me. It's been a little bit worrying that we just can't seem... I don't know if we hit a cap or something, though. I suppose I should probably do... So maybe it's because my prestige is not up and I needed to do the monolith. I don't know, build a monolith over here or something. That seems like the sort of pointless affectation that would make a bunch of people happy. I don't know exactly what that's going to cost me. What was that going to cost me? What did I just do? Ooh, that cost me 20 metal. That's not that bad. I mean, it's kind of expensive, but it's not that expensive. It's expensive enough to where I would slightly worry about it, but... Robots! Ooh, we're up to 20 robots now almost? Hell yeah. I love robots. Robots is good. Robots make me happy. If I had robots, I would give them all like little plastic synthesized butt cheeks while they ran around because it would be funny. That or I would put truck nuts on all the robots. One or the other. All the robots would have truck nuts or all the robots would have prosthetic butts. 
Because you have to have a proper appreciation for physical comedy. If, if you can't laugh while walking through your base at a robot that unknowingly has truck nuts attached to it, what can you laugh at? What can you laugh at? If you can't laugh at neon colored nuts on any random surface. I mean, what's not to love? Colony ship! Ah, oh, balls. It's just visitors. I'm not even excited about this right now because I know they're just going to try and blow up my air condensers or whatever. Yeah, I was going to say, are we like. Oh shit, they're all over the place. No! Stop shooting my already limited citizenry. Where are my guards at? What the hell? Guards? What are you doing? What the shit were you guys doing? Like, sorry, we all had to go to the other side of the base where nothing interesting happens while everybody on your colony was being murdered. Like, you guys are the worst. You understand that, right? Like, you deserve punishment for this. Ugh. Sometimes. Gonna need some more guards. Let's ramp this up a little bit. Monolith. I think I can look at my goals in here somewhere. Like the things that I should be like running towards. We have consolidation, megalomania, technocracy. So I assume there's not a cap on the amount of people you can have in your society. I just switched in the middle. You have proven what you are capable of. Wasting resources on a ridiculously huge and bureaucratic level. Look what I have spent your taxes on! It's not even like original art. It's just a big rectangle. They pull some shit like that where I live where it's just like a big block of metal. That they just like left in front of a building. Somebody's just like, look, it's art. And I'm like, that is scrap metal that you've dumped in front of a building. <laughs> Just because you put scrap metal in a fancy mounting doesn't make it art. But like, no, 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 but it reflects things. It reflects the feeling of being hopelessly alone in this middle class society while surrounded by so many neighbors who I probably have things in common with, but still, I'm just like, no, I don't believe that. I don't buy that at all. I think you're just assigning meaning to something worthless so that you can charge for it. And we just live in a world that happens to have a population large enough where there's enough stupid people to subsidize that endeavor. <laughs> like, come on. Like, for real. Like, it's not like you're over here making the statue of David or anything. It's a, it's a rectangle. It's a rectangle that for some reason... What does that do? Maybe it's because my prestige is too low and everybody's unhappy. Apparently my general welfare is pretty poor. But then again, most of the time, I can't get these little guys to do what you want them to do anyways. It seems like I need some kind of... I mean, I've got... I was going to say, it seems like I need some kind of happiness returning thing over on this side. But in general... I don't know. It'd be nice if it gave you a readout over here of, like, why the welfare is poor. Because it all seems sort of arbitrary to me that they get really, really ha unhappy for some reason. And then you just kind of have to deal with it. At a certain point, you have to ask, like, how many TV screens can I stack up that they're not going to use? The bar over here seems pretty popular. Keeping drinks in stock seems to be the trick. Overall, however, I wonder if it's due to my welfare. Nobody's coming here because the welfare is weird. But at the same time, I need more people to get the welfare fixed. Kind of like our own unique little chicken and egg problem that we're dealing with right now. The radio dish also appears to not do really much. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be doing right now. But I've yet to see it affect the gameplay in any real tangible way. Guys out here, what have you got? Do I want constructor bots? I don't really need a constructor bot. I don't know. Here, take these plants right here. And then I shall also 
take your constructor, I guess. Because why not? It's only like 28 boxes of medicinal herb. It'll take a little while, but I bet it'll be worth it eventually. Someday. I wonder if I can fit a few more TVs in here. I was going to say, it felt like I might be able to put a TV right there. I was sensing. I mean, I'm pretty good at finding digitized entertainment spaces. And I was pretty sure that we could put a TV in right there and it would be super dope. And people were like, oh, yeah, you see that new TV over there? The one that's behind all of those things because nobody around here knows how to manage a settlement. I think they also wait too long to work on their happiness, too. That's the other problem. Is it seems like they ignore happiness. It seems like it's the lowest on the list, basically. And so they get it last. Which leaves them very, very little time to actually... I mean, everybody else's needs are taken care of. And so I don't know if there's somewhere around here where I can tell them to work on happiness first. Or at least move happiness up the list somewhere. But... I don't know. 18 robots, all kinds of stuff going on. Prestige is at 419 out of 1,000. Which means there's still plenty of things I could do more of. Looks like prestige is fairly closely linked, however, to people's happiness. And so now... Yeah, I definitely wish I had some... When you, like, moused over this, it should give you a pop-up on this side. That says, like, what some of your issues are. So the perfect example that I would give you is in a game like Tropico. That's the game that I would think of right here. Where Tropico does a very, very good job of where, like, if you mouse over something, it's like, Listen, this is the problem. You need to go take care of it. As right now, we just have this meter that kind of just seems to do whatever the hell it wants the entire time. I mean, overall, it's definitely trending positive, though. At least it seems like it is. That might have just been a recovery based on people sleeping in their assigned beds, though. And if that's the case... We'll watch it tonight, too, and we'll see what happens with it. But, um, hey, I think that's what it is. You have to have decent for people to show up. If you don't have decent, people won't come around. Okay, makes sense. More carrier bots, please. Spending all of my hard-earned coins on robots to do my manual labor. That's also got a really low commish, so I'm pretty happy about it. Yay! Commish seems like the kind of thing a really douchebaggy person would say, so I apologize. Like, hey man, did you hear about that car I sold? I got a super nice commish. I don't know. It seems like a thing a dick would say. Maybe I'll back off it for right now. The less things there are to carry, the happier I am, so... You know, robots, are you using this little area down here? Let's take a look at our welfare real fast. I think we're trending positive. It's just... Hard to keep them there. Yeah. I'm going to keep an eye on it as we go through the night. And I'll see if we get a big positive every single night when people go to bed. If that's how it goes down, what I may try to do... I wonder if I can make a bigger cabin right there. Just expand it out a little bit. Either way, let's make a few more. Like we can go big cabin right there. And you go big cabin, like, right here. Alright, so now that we're getting back to nighttime, I wanted to watch this. Oh, yeah, I think it does. I think it has directly to do... I mean, I don't know what's dropping off. It looks like at the end of the day, when they start to run out of their resources, like, they start to get tired or whatever from a day's work, it looks like the welfare falls off pretty quickly. Everybody's getting fed, though, and everybody has what they need. Like, we haven't had any starvation or hunger or anything. And it looks like we recover a little bit from there on in. Is that a traitor? What's his commission? 40%. So it'll probably be like in there somewhere. Well, more than that, but there we go. Actually, I was pretty close. Never mind. I'm bad at math. That's what we learned today. All right, so back up inside of here. I'm just looking for links right now because the game doesn't do an amazing job of telling you what is not working at the moment. 
And so I'm just trying to figure it out the hard way. It definitely looks like we take a big dip near the end of the day, near about like 5 o'clock, when everybody gets off work. And then it looks like they recover slightly overnight. And I have to think that that's due to the fact that a fat chunk of my people are going to their cabins and just crashing for the night. And I might be able to help this a little bit as a process. Huh. I don't know. Weird stuff. So if those are all going to get ready to go, we'll get these slotted in. Honestly, I don't see a lot of people sleeping down in here very often. And so I kind of wonder how many people are like way off in this area, just kind of like running around and unable to get what they want done. Technically over here, I could recycle that and give them personal quarters, but I would have done this very, very differently had I built the base a second time. Probably would have organized a little bit better. As far as bioplastics are concerned, we've gone through a bunch of those, so I'm going to give those some time to come back. But I'm just going to work on people's happiness for a while. Don't have much of an option, I guess. Once again, though, like, they're really, really stingy with happiness coming back. Like, they can sit here forever, and they hardly get any happiness back at all, so who even knows? Might be worth it to put potted plants and shit around in, like, random areas, but... Much more than that, I couldn't really tell you. Another trade ship. So with the trade ship, he's got a bunch of cash on board. Probably continue unloading all the random coins and things that I have. That's nah, not too bad of a carrier job, so we'll just do that right there. It'll take him a bit of time to get the 20s across there, but... I mean, almost every single bench is filled in here, which leads me to believe... They're not really using the exercise room, though. Go figure. They are, however, using the water fountains in there, which is kind of odd. Huh. Okay. No idea. Kind of an odd situation. Cannot seem to get people out of poor moods. Uh, we've got bars basically like everywhere trying to make people happier. These guys, they're walking super far for a canteen, even though there's a canteen right over here. Interesting. Don't really know. Do not really know. Nobody's really using their personal beds either. On this side, we just got another biologist and another engineer. However, we lost a bunch of people like in the last little bit. So unfortunately, they're just replacing people we already had, which is a disappointment. Sometimes that happens though. So what are you going to do? Life can be disappointing like that. We got another, are you a visitor? Okay, so you're a visitor. So they'll spend some money while they're in here, which sounds good to me. Another trade ship on this side. I'm going to take as much of his money as I can. 202 for that. I think in general we probably have more than enough random stuff to trade in. I'm going to try I'm going to try and keep making money. I do wish there was some kind of like tax system or something or some way you could make people happier by giving them like rebates or whatever too. It'd help out a little bit. Yeah, I think the problem's stemming from the fact that people don't have personal quarters and stuff like that. Can I connect these two? I cannot. What about these two? Nope. That's cool. Whatever. How are my plastics doing? Not very well. May just sort of have to live with that for a little bit, though. It'd be super nice if you could set up patrols, too. If I had built it differently, I would have put the security console right here instead so they had to come through the security room but even then that I don't think that really guarantees 
that guards it because look they leave this place unoccupied all the time too so you know all you can really do is hope that you have enough guards and that they're in the right positions once you get attacked and that what happened last time does not happen to you so that you end up losing like seven people all in one big nasty go I don't think these down here are getting much use, but I'm still going to place them in the hopes that maybe it'll relocate some people down to here. It seems like the people have little home zones, though, that they occupy, so I don't know. There we go. few more beds. That one's for Elvin Blair. I like how I don't have to assign them. That makes me super happy. I hate assigning beds. In games like Nomori and whatnot, where you got to go through individually on every single room and be like, this is for this guy, this is for this guy, this is for this guy. It's a welcome treat that I don't have to do that. Although by now, I haven't played Nomori in probably a year or two. It might have its own auto-assigned thing. 20 coins for that right there. Getting paid on out. That guy should pay like 35 or 40. Got another trade ship right here. I'm going to focus mostly on robots, in all honesty. He's going to go 50-50, so that's going to end up being worth like, what, 170-ish? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, it was worth 170. I started looking at this number for some reason. I don't know. Sometimes I have brain farts like that. And even it out with a starch or something? I don't know. There you go. We'll take that on over there, and everything will be good. Life will be fine. Everything will work out, I promise. Things are going to get better. They've got to get better. There we go. And let's see how much it improves his mood just in one night's sleep. Because I'm curious about it. I mean, it should make a big enough dent in it. That's a pretty sizable increase in morale, just as like a passive thing that he gets while doing another thing. So I think it's definitely acceptable. He's She's still in the yellow. But I mean, for this character right here, that was enough to get her into green. And so I don't know if they work better while their morale is high or anything like that. But I figure giving as many people as many beds as possible that are their personal property may work out for us long haul or short haul. I don't know. We get paid by that other ship. Hey, there's another colony ship with another biologist and another engineer. It's taken us a couple of episodes of recovering. Maybe this won't be my last recording session. I don't know. Please tell me that I have guards on this right now. Like, I don't care if the guards die. That's what they get paid to do. Like, it's not that big of a deal for me. Okay, and so he paid 35 coins to get the hell on up out of here. It's pretty bad when people pay you so that they can leave. A wonderful theme park I have not designed. Either way, it's the end of the episode. I will see you all later. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Planet Base. I don't know. I might keep it going. We'll see what happens. Hi, everybody.